In this video, we're gonna be breaking down a nice way to beat a lot of the popular ways people like to defend the strong close offense. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what I do on YouTube, basically what we do is we break down how you can get better at this game, whether it be offensively or defensively, sometimes special teams and sometimes Madden Ultimate Team, and also we study pro players. So if you would like to get better at Madden, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. My um, research has shown me that 40% of you guys that are watching this video have not subscribed or um, have only subscribed. So that means that 60% of you haven't subscribed yet. So if you have not subscribed, make sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button. The other thing I wanted to let you know about is my text message membership. If you have a Madden question, my phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. So if you have any Madden questions, you can always text me. And also every single week, I actually release full offensive and defensive schemes to my text message members. These are very high level schemes, about 45 minutes to an hour. Some people call them eBooks, some people call them guides. Um, but they're completed schemes for you to be able to use, ready to use offenses and defense that are really, really high level and it's completely free to use. So text me if you want to pick that up. We've broken things down like split close, gun bunch, uh, U trips, a slot offset, split close, or um, big nickel over G and nickel 335 wide. So some really good uh, formations in there. Okay, guys. So I wanted to talk a just a little bit today about the strong close this i think the passing from this is absolutely um absolutely really 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 effective and i want to talk specifically about a play that we were we had started to talk about in my previous video i want to talk a little bit more about it and that's the play um pa deep cross you can we can also use pa scissors for this uh either one of those plays will work but we're going to start with pa deep cross and what we're going to do with this play is this is uh, we're wanting to show you kind of how this will work uh, against first and foremost cover three. A lot of people will run cover three in this game. A lot of people like cover three. I myself like cover three and a lot of people like cover three Mabel. Um, but if you just put Mike Evans on a corner route, OK, then what you're going to notice here is if they run cover three, you have a pretty good chance at getting Chris Godwin over the top. Now, the only reason we didn't get him over the top is because Jair Alexander is an absolute monster in this game. And we need some kind of route to be able to get, to be able to keep him on that side. So we got to put the tight end on something, right? So what I like to do is to just take the tight end and put him on a corner. And I know it seems simple, but you got two corners and a post. But this super is super, super simple. But you see right here, now we've got maybe a little bit more room. And as you can see, against cover cover uh, three, we're able to have a pretty good shot at, at hitting the route to Chris Godwin, especially if our opponent does a deep half on the short side of the field. So if they deep half Jair, then you're, you're going to see that Jair won't follow him now. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a lot more space to be able to throw this ball right over the cover three, as you see right there. The beauty of strong close is you can run this from both sides. So you can run cover three beater to the left, which we showed you earlier today. You can also run a cover three beater to the right. Now what I want to do is I want to talk specifically about the Mabel coverage with deep halves. A lot, a lot, a lot of people like to use uh, deep halves in Madden. So we'll show you this real quick. And this is actually going to open up our offense to be able to use something else to beat this coverage. But what you'll see here, we're going to use that same combination of routes. And you'll see that I actually have a pretty good chance, even if they deep half, of getting over the top of that with Chris Godwin. As you can see right there, we're able to really get over the top. Now, if you want to get the full strong close scheme, the link is in the description of this video. Or not in the description, I'm sorry. Um, the link is in my text membership. So we actually broke this down a couple weeks ago in our text membership. My number is 812-216-3644. Hit me up via text message if you want to get this scheme. I think it's one of the, it's probably right up there with one of the top two or three, if not the best under center passing scheme in this game. And the thing about strong close is let's say you're concerned, if you're concerned that you're not gonna have enough time in the pocket, there are tips and strategies we actually show you that will help you pick up these blitzes. 
um, will actually help you pick it up a lot. But as you can see right here, as long as, and right there, Jair Alexander follows me, normally you're going to win that, especially if you have a good receiver there. Because Jair Alexander is so much better than Chris Godwin, um, it's causing me a little bit of an issue. But what I, wanted to, what I want to show you is you see the window is there. You see the window to throw this ball is right there. The other thing is, let's say that they're running that cover two invert. I want you to watch. This is an inverted cover two. Look at him. Look at how he plays that, and he doesn't come back on Chris Godwin. It's a one-play touchdown. To me, that's huge. That's a very big deal because what most people are going to try to do is they're going to try to deep half. Now, one other thing I want to show you really quickly because some of you might not have – um, some of you might not have like a slot apprentice or something like that. So I just want to show you what if we just ran this, you know, as is what's going to happen. If we just ran this as is, you'll notice that the deep hat, the deep third on the right will actually run all the way across. If the deep third runs all the way across, then you now have another window to be able to throw this crossing route. Now, again, you got to account for the user and understand that the, if they are really good, they're going to probably use some of this stuff. But as you can see right there, that's a one-play touchdown against cover three. And it's not to the, even the post route. So you have, you know, kind of both and options. But the one other thing I did want to talk about is, let's say they deep half out of both. If they run a deep half type of scenario out of both corners here, and you just run this as is, you'll have a chance to hit this route to Godwin. But most of the time, you're not going to be able to hit him. So you're going to have to figure something else out as far as that goes. Um, that's where the play Y trail to me is super, super invaluable. Uh, PA scissors also really quickly just want to cover this play. It's the same kind of con it's the same basic concept, but what I want to show you is now you have a couple of different routes that you can work with, but you'll see here if he's on a dig, if this guy's on a dig right here, you can kind of get this, you know, you can't, you can't, can't quite get it over the top of the defense, but the key is that corner route. If you can put that corner route on that left side, I think the corner route will help um, significantly. Uh, if what One last thing I want to show you is what if we did a curl route. And uh, what we're going to do here is simply put a curl route on the right, something like this right here. And what you'll notice is he still gets back on a curl. He'll drift. So... There's not really a great opportunity to hit this. One last thing I do want to talk about, though, um, because of the fact, and this is a little bit of a principle, and I, I forgot to, to mention this, but if they're running cover, if they're running these deep halves, um, one other little thing that you can try to do is if you take Mike Evans and put him on a little flat route right here, a lot of times this will open up. You'll see the deep half will just kind of stop. Here he doesn't. He does go back. But sometimes the deep half won't do that. Sometimes the deep half will literally just sit. Like, he'll just go, like, completely glitch out. So just want to let you know that that is something that you can look for on this play um, from time to time. You might need to motion out your player. Like, you might need to do something like this where you motion him out, like, a step or two. And then what you'll see is now we might have a, a better window here. But it does look like the corner is going to go ahead and get back on that. So... Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that to that hash mark. Now, if we're on the other hash mark, I just want to show you really quickly um, because I think it could work if we were on the other hash mark here. But these little these post routes are so powerful. Like from from a close, you have post routes from both sides from a close perspective. Um, you definitely can't be mad about that. Those skinny posts are really really good. Obviously, you can get other routes as well. But we would definitely need to block the running back. But take a look here. This is what I'm talking about right here, and you. You see he gets back on the ball, but sometimes, I'm telling you, sometimes he won't. Um, sometimes he won't. One other little route we can try really quickly is we can try a uh, a simple drag route. And I know you're like, why would I ever run a drag? Like, what are you thinking, you know? Um, but this actually does do some damage uh, whenever they deep half. So let me just deep half both these guys. And literally what we're going to do is block the running back drag Mike Evans now and then smart route Chris Godwin if you take a look at this deep half and it does look like he is going to get back there unfortunately so so we're not able to do that uh, at least from these route combos but what I hope you gravitated to is this PA cross play is really really good there's multiple ways to run it 
but you've got a really nice crossing route that gets over the zone drops. You also have a nice post route um, to be able to hit them you know, in multiple ways. And as you can see um, from running this today, that if they run cover three and you run this play, you're going to kill them. Over the top, one play touchdown. So that's today's video for Strong Close. If you have any questions about it, you can always text me. My number is 812-216-3644. So just pull out your phone, shoot me a text message. My number is also in the description. And also, if you want to get the full Strong Close scheme, just let me know. Just shoot me a text. I've got an hour video that breaks down the entire offense and the entire formation. So thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you guys in our next video.